Hello and welcome. This is SETS video number six and today we are learning what are subsets and supersets. So let's take a look at what is a subset. So let's say we have two sets set A and B when all elements of set A are also elements of set B we say that set A is a subset of B. So let's think about it this way. So let's say we want to uh, have a set that has all kids in my class or in your class. So now we will have a whole bunch of student one, student two, student three, so on and so forth. So a certain number of students who are all in my class. And let's say I want to create another set which I call set B. Now this contains all the students in the school. So this will be a much bigger set of all of the kids in the school, right? Now, all these students who are in my class, they also should be here, right? In that case, we will say that set A is a subset of set B. Or in other words, if we take a look at maybe a little bit more numerical uh, example, so let's say we have a set A that has the number 1, 2, and 3. And let's say we have a set B that has the number 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So here we see that the element 1, 2, and 3, which are in set A, all those elements, they also appear in set B right? Set B contains more elements, but it does contain all of the elements that appear in set A. So in this case, we say set A is a subset of B. And there is a special way of representing it. We represent it like this. Set A is a subset of set B. So this is like almost an uppercase letter C with the top and bottom squish to make it more parallel. And this is a symbol which is used to say set A represents set B. And this happens if and only if all elements of A are also elements of set B. Now let's take a look at what is a superset. So if set A is a subset of set B and A and B are not equal, we say that B or set B is a superset of set A. Pretty much the same example as last time. So if we have a that contains let's say 1 and 2 and here we have a set B that contains 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here clearly all of the elements in A they are also elements of B but B has more elements. So here we say that set A clearly is a subset of B and we notice that set A is not equal to set B. We have seen before how and when we say two sets are equal. I'm going to provide that link above. So check, check that out. So when we have this here, we call, so we say A is a subset of B and we say that B is a superset of A. Now, couple of important points to remember when it comes to subsets. Every set is a subset of itself. And null set, empty set, or void set is a subset of every set. And we are going to learn about this a little bit more in the next video. Now, let's take a look at some examples and see if we can figure this out. Question is, is set A subset of set B? So A contains lowercase a, b, c, and B contains A and B. So we notice that the element A exists here element B exists here, but C does not exist. So we say that A is not a subset of B. And the reason here is that the element C, it belongs to A, but element C, it does not belong to B. We know in order for A to be a subset of B, all elements must belong to the set B. So if the question were given as is 
B a subset of A? What would be the answer then? This would be true. So this will be true. Why? So while this actually is false, or in other words, A is not a subset of B, but B is a subset of A because B has elements A and B, and they both belong to the set A. Right? Let's take a look at one last example. So now our element A is defined as it contains the number 2, 3, and 5, and set B is written in set builder form. We know the two forms of our two ways of writing a set. So let's convert this into, first of all, uh, in the roster or tabular form. And how do we do that? I'm going to provide that video link here as well for you to check it out. So let's write set B. It contains element X such that X is a positive. It is a positive. It is an odd integer. And it must be in this range. So let's write it over here. So what are numbers, positive, what are integers in between here? So they will start from 1 and go through 9, right? So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But remember that it has to be also odd integers. That means this cannot exist, this cannot exist, this cannot exist, and this cannot exist. In other words, our set B actually looks like it should it will have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Now this is set B and this is A. So the question is, is A subset of B? Now let's start with the first element. Does 2 belong to set B? We don't see 2 here. So we realize the first element, it does not belong here. So we don't even have to proceed. We say set A is not a subset of B because all of the elements of A must exist in B. Clearly, the element 2 does not belong to set B.